trees snap like twigs in 70 to 80 mile per hour winds on Saturday. This video captured on the dash cam of the Nine News Weather Titan in Westminster. The damage though was widespread. From Utah all the way to South Dakota, we were all hit by the same line of intense and fast moving thunderstorms. A wave of thunderstorm wind gusts called a derecho. The Colorado Climate Center says it's the first one ever recorded on the front range. Um, it's pretty remarkable and I think this will this will hold up as probably the most widespread thunderstorm wind event that we've ever seen across Colorado. State climatologist Russ Schumacher says that derechos are rare in Colorado because our dry air lacks the moisture necessary to maintain a storm like that and because the mountains usually break up any attempts for a storm to stay lined up. In order for it to be a derecho, it must persist for more than 240 miles, causing wind damage reports along that swath. In Colorado, Saturday's derecho started at 11 a.m. in the southwest corner and swept through to the northeast corner by 8 p.m. This one was just unusual because the, the strong storms developed in, on the west slope and, and just continued right across the mountains. Not only was this the first derecho ever recorded on the front range, but it was also one of the strongest all time. A record 44 significant wind gusts of 75 miles per hour or greater were measured during the event. These two severe thunderstorm warnings issued by our local National Weather Service office were the largest ever. One covered more than 20,000 square miles and included 3.8 million people. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.